Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Afa, the Wild Samoans. This is my Afa at uh, 5 star silver, 1 hollow star, not max level. He's only 210. And um, with the Bobby Lashley's Dominator's Drip skill plate. And he was hitting for about 800k on turn 2 before putting the skill plate on with this just for reference um the build set is off as normal uh build set body slam 9 mp black deal 35k damage choose four by one area to swap into purple 5 mp purple samoan drop deal 111 117k damage and choose a four by one area to make into snowfall gems and the one mp black fall away slam deal 30 for 3100 damage and increase your black gem damage by 82 percent for three turns so entourage is set up for feud if you have alundra and elias you can fill the black move with a three match in feud with current perks because we're playing for turn two i have stefan at the other coach um to reduce your opponent's mp by one and then woods to fill the samoan drop so this will all be ready turn two, and you might be thinking there's not enough um, gem damage there to make it impressive. Well, um, you can see I don't have a great strap set up, only 66% black gem damage. It is a skip strap. This is one of the few characters I like a skip strap on. And then just to recap, whenever you activate a black move, make seven random gems into multis of strength seven. Um... Nothing really great on him metal-wise at all. Uh, level 12, this is a, just a flat black. Um, so yeah, nothing super exciting. Uh, also, because he has one hollow star and he's not maxed, his black gem damage is only 8,735. Uh, at gold, maxed with a filled star, significantly more... Um, gem damage. I can tell you exactly in one second, actually. Thank you, Portal. Very useful. I use it all the time now. It's actually my favorite uh, thing about the Portal, is being able to look up the characters. Uh, gem damage goes up to almost 13,000. 12,894 uh, at 5-star gold. So you're going to get a nice spike in damage there as well plus like i said not the greatest plate so i'll run this a few times for you guys so you can see alundra also helps with the consistency of finding a black match mine could go higher and have 50 percent in chance crease for initial black gems on the starting board right now it's only 25. So you're you're always playing for turn two. Sadly, we don't have a match. Used to be, um, because we don't have a match and we have purple up high. I'm gonna go ahead and and take that. Um, it won't. We'll be one short. So we're now playing for turn three. Uh, but that's okay. Because I want to fill the black up anyway. And maybe we'll clip a purple like that. So 540k, which is not the important part. Um, we do lose multiply gems this way too. But we still are going to have it loaded for turn two. And uh, a bunch at the top here. This is why... It's a little bit of a, a bummer if you miss your match and do what I just did. You're going to want to avoid that. I probably would have been better off just trying to get a black match. Sort of thing. Um, because we're only going to pick up, like, three multis here. So about as terrible as it can go if you don't get a black match. Again, that's partly you'd want Alundra being leveled up. If you play off a lot, though, 
Um, you know what happens if you miss your matches, so... You can see we still hit for 1.7 million. That's at 5-star silver. With only hitting 3 multiplies. So... I'm gonna run it a couple times for you guys, actually, because it's fast quite a few times now. Um, so you can get an idea of what it's gonna play like real-time and see just how hard it can hit. I think the highest I got it was right around 4 million on turn 2 messing around with it, which is amazing at 5 star silver not maxed with the not crazy metals I'm running. Like, they're really not good. So, I think realistically you can expect a lot of 5 to 6 million turn 2s at gold. So here we have, this is a, what the board looks like much more often. And you're going to want to hold your purple move because no eternal positivity, none of that stuff in feud anymore. And you want to obviously avoid the multiply gems. Ivar stole one of them. Let's see where these go. Hopefully in this area. All right, we got three, one, two, one. Or we have two, two, one. Not the best, honestly. Not the greatest, but it's not terrible. We're gonna get seven of them. Uh, two million hit right there. <laughs> also, as you level him up, um, the buff move ends up going, I think, to three turns. And uh, Alpha, like I said, if you've played him a lot, you're used to how to play him. Uh, pick your spots. You, you know, you can use uh, the universal or the, the specific color, MP down three, target those people specifically, and things like that. Alunda really will minimize your misses on black gems. Of course, as I say that, um, I don't have it right here. Which is fine. Ivar's probably gonna... Oh, he'll take the red, I think. Yeah. And so now we're playing for turn three, which uh, is not gonna be a bad thing. Because we are gonna have a passel of multi-gems to hit. And there's the skip turn going off, saving the day. So we're still on turn two. So this is going to hit hard. Obviously, this is the side we want to be on, these four. We'll also get that other black multiply gem across the top. So this is going to hit ridiculously hard. With the skip turn going off and still being on turn two as well. There it is. 5.4 million reduced to 4 million uh, on turn two because of the skip turn. <laughs> so, yeah, 5.4 million. At five star silver, not set up well. Um, I'll just do a couple more real quick because uh, this video hasn't been long and I think people will want to see this. But um, as far as elevation goes and making somebody significantly better, I don't know if this skill plate 
will elevate anyone more than Afa. Yes, you're playing for turn two, but that's not always a bad thing. And uh, I would certainly get your Alundra maxed, uh, as that will make a difference. Um, here again, you can see I'm struggling with a black match on turn one, so again, we're back to turn three. Which, as you've seen, isn't the end of the world, assuming your opponent doesn't load it. And even if they do, it's not like you're going to have trouble... Um, oh, there's a wild card bummer for them. It's not like you're going to have trouble picking out, right? I mean, like, you're going to have multiply gems on the board, etc. This one probably won't be as impressive, depending on where these multis go. If they go in this area, maybe? That's actually over here looks pretty spicy. Two, we can pick up the green, but then we lose only one over here. We'll just take this side. Yeah. Get these two. Actually, yeah, we'll do it that way. Four point three reduced to three point three. And again, this is a five star silver alpha. Okay. One more match, guys. And we'll call it good. It's funny that how, how little the board is cooperating on the black gems. That's actually quite entertaining in a not good way. Um, but -ba -ba. Let's do this and hope he doesn't take our black match. Too bad there wasn't a red. There we go. Skip turn, nice. So this is another turn two because of the skip turn that's gonna be massive. Uh like this spot over here a lot. And the buff does end up going to three turns, so if you get a skip turn and you don't load like till turn three, it, it oh. Wow, good night. Pretty unreal, actually. Decent little cascade. 5.3 million, again, reduced to 4 million. So, that's a couple 5 million plus hits on turn 2 with the skip turn. Um, you can hit 4 million, no problem. Um, on turn 2, at 5 star silver with this janky setup. So, yeah. Uh, this plate certainly... Elevates off a huge when you're talking I was doing 800k and then you're going to 4 million to 5 million um, That's five times the damage with this skill plate at silver so I don't know how for sure that would translate into gold But I could I could see lots of turn to five mil hits and upwards of you know when it stacks up right six seven mil i mean like he's gonna he'll at gold i think he'll be able to put down um six star bronzes for you make it hard for them to kick out to be honest um so great choice for this plate if you get it a lot of a lot of fun i know a lot of people depend on off he's one of their best strikers and this plate if you get it i mean it's going to be probably hard to get this weekend but that may not stay the case uh, long term. So if you get it, you may consider Alpha as it's quite good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. 
Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.